to say kwamba the reason why church the church of kenya shall not have a voice over bbi is because the voice of the church is muzzled the church of kenya has been gone through judgments we have supported the hand of the wicked in kenya and as a result god has judged kenya and also god has judged the church Nguvu naomba usemi naomba kupambanua ebwa mamlaka pingamizi ya madhabahu haya na inakamata katika jina la Yesu maroza ajali maroza nuksi mikosi maroza visirani ambazo bwana ingewatarisha vijana wetu ama ingewatarisha watenda kazi katika madhabahu haya ama wanaosaidiana na kazi hii maroza visirani mikosi accident nimefunga katika jina la Yesu maroza ambazo ingedusha kazi ya Mungu nyuma nimefunga maroza fujo maroza ya kelele na makike nimefunga uwezo wao na haribu mipango na njama za mashetani katika haya madhabahu madhidi ya madhabahu haya dhidi ya washirika wa madhabahu haya ninaharibu kazi yake ibilisi dhidi yao katika jina la Yesu menyororo za kishetani za kuwafunga watu nikateketeza na moto wa Bwana na yateketeza na moto wa koro wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu nguvu zako Mungu zienene na upako na moto ukaribu mishale na mitego ambazo zimewatega watu baba mishale ambazo afanya watu wasiombe wasiabudu wasisome maandiko mishale ambazo waduaza watu wasione maono wapate ndoto chafu hizo mishale na haribu na moto wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu ndani ya kila mmoja wetu Mungu wakisha moto wa uvuvuo wakisha moto wa maumbezi wakisha moto baba wa watu kulisoma neno na injili watu kutafuta uso wa Bwana kwa maumbezi baba we pray that thou light your fire in our hearts my lord Jehovah katika jina la Yesu tukatembea kwa uwezo mamlaka na ujasiri katika jina la Yesu baba kibali yako ya kufungua milango naomba juu yetu milango za fedha kufunguka milango za baraka kufunguka ka milango za afya na ushindi milango za kibali za ajabu baba kwa ajili ya hema hii kwa ajili ya mlima huu kwa ajili ya uwanja huu kwa ajili ya afisi zetu kwa ajili ya hela na mali ambazo tumehitaji we pray thou command open heavens pour your favor pour your power pour your influence upon us oh god make us be a voice my father ukashinda maadui wetu ukazamisha sauti zao mo baba ukanyamazisha sauti zao ukazamisha madhabahu zao nguvu zao zote zamisha moto katika jina la Yesu we pray that hakuna uchawi ugango shirikina ulozi wala unabii za watu wabaya njama na mipango za watu wabaya basi kafaulu dhidi yetu we pray your hand over dennis pray your hand my father you shall heal him and help him dear god baba we pray you restore him fast we pray that your hand be upon my life for my wife on my children your hand be upon intercessors here your hand be upon the keyboard is law your hand be upon the intercessor leading today your hand be upon my lord lineta as well your hand be upon dorcas my father your hand be upon them that lord be praying over this mountain this altar your hand be upon them that will be here in the night of god wana pokesha hapa baba your hand be upon them in the name of jesus baba utukuze milele your hand be upon intercessors in the morning lord my father grace and lord jehovah pamoja pia wana wawili as many as are intercessors in the morning baba morning glory i pray you anoint them my father usika yanto kuraba utubariki bwana remember as mighty god kutana mahitaji ya kila mmoja wetu hata baba leo hii katika jina la yesu asante mara tena maana wewe ni mwaminifu utubariki baba utende mema utumie upendavyo the lord nikapungua ukazidi ndani yangu 
nguvu zako zikaingizwa ndani zangu upako wako ukazidi ndani yangu uwepo na nguvu zako ikalitawala baba kwamba si yemii wakanisikia bali ni wewe Mungu wakasikia kunipitia mie kama chombo chako asante maana mfanyiko wa neno lako likaenenda kutimiliza yote yale uliyokusudia kwa manufaa ya wasikizaji wote basi kwa wateka wakasikiza mahubiri haya katika Yesu Kristo tuaomba Amen the name of Jesus we pray Amen kama unapiga Yesu makofi basi mpigie makofi vyema Naweza kiti mbele za Bwana Jana tuliona mahubiri tusikiza mahubiri then we are looking at uh, tuko tunaangalia mahubiri we look at the place of the power of the word mamlaka ya mahubiri mamlaka ya mahubiri mamlaka ya neema i'll be asking grace that you whenever you come you also help um induct pasaka as to the tunes that i use the tunes that are that are flowing with me so that you will be helping us also mwache hivyo utakona msaidia utaka tufungue maandiko katika wa timotheo waraka let's look at um, second timothy waraka wa timotheo wa pili waraka wa pili wa timotheo sura nene kuanzia mstari wa kwanza sura nene ningependekeza watu wengi waimbaji nyingine kwa fasting wala ambao mlianza tafadhali endelezeni uh, usingoje uambiwa mambo ya fasting uh, wakati madhabahu inaelewa vile imenelewa hivi uh, maadui ni wengi kanisa linapoinelewa vile imenelewa hivi tunakaa kiwango kingine cha huduma pingamizi zimo nyingi mara ambazo napingana because ni katika hali ya kukuandaa ma unabiza kupeana ni nyingi na wala ambao naombea mtu wa Mungu Mungu atakubariki sana those of us who take the time you fast because of a man of god you are fasting because of the work he doing unafunga chakula kwa ajili ya mtumishi wa Bwana kaza anayofanya una sehemu yako kwa Bwana hakuna vile Mungu atakuacha so i want to encourage many intercessors those of us ambaye Eh, wewe una mzigo wa maombezi ingia katika maombezi Mungu anatupa ushindi katika jina la Yesu Katika mahubiri haya 2 Timothy 4 from verse number 1 Tunamwona hapa mtume Paulo anamadikia barua eh, mwana wake Timotheo ama Timothy na anasema hivi I charge thee therefore before God na kwa muru hivyo basi mbele za Bwana ama nakupa agizo hili mbele zake Mungu hmm? na mbele zake Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ambaye atafanya kuwa hukumu eh kwa hukumu wote walio wafu na walio hai wakati pale wataonekana mbele zake na mbele za ufalme so i charge thee therefore before God and the lord jesus christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom na hiyo siku inakuja so this is the charge preach the word be instant in season out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables but watch now in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry for i am now ready to be offered at the time of my departure and the time of my departure is at hand bwana yesu atukuzwe bwana asifiwe hapa tutamuona mtumishi paulo na hako na mtu ambaye amemlea he has mnt so this apostle paul he has got mnt this mnt is called timothy So Timothy is the mentee. I'd say that mchana kifika wawili you are sleeping. 
that door should be open or wide. Na mungu atanyorosha watu huku. Forget your assignment. So there is a main team. So hapa tunaona kwamba Paulo ni baba wa kiroho. Ni mwalimu wa kiroho. Ni msaidizi wa kiroho. Ni mwelekezi wa kiroho. Ni mshauri wa kiroho. Anamjenga, ni mkufunzi. Yeye anamfunza Timotheo. So Timotheo ni mwanafunzi. Yeye anapokea neema kutoka kwake Paulo. I'm continuing with the power of the word. So today we are looking at hmm, we are looking at the significance of the word. Significance of the word. So tunaona kwamba Paulo amejua uzito na umuhimu wa neno yani kulihubiri neno na anamkabidhi Timotheo kwamba kuna umuhimu sana wewe kulihubiri neno siku zote nyakati zote katika hali zote hubiri neno so huwezi hubiri neno kama wewe hauna neno so inapasa kwamba uwe msomaji neno, uwe mshirika wa neno, uwe mtambaye unashiriki ushirika na Yesu Kristo. Nikasema jana, mkristo ambaye hausomi neno, mkristo ambaye hauna neno, wewe ni afifu, we ni munyonge. If you be a Christian who does not have the word, hausomi maandiko, huwa ushiriki Biblia, you have no time with the Lord Jesus. You are not going far. You remain average. Na hapa kama kuna watu ambao mahubiri yale ni mahubiri pekee ndio chakula unakula on Sunday. Utasalia mwenyonge. If you be one that unangoja tu mahubiri ya pastor Jumapili. That you only live on what I preach on Sunday. Then your growth will be so slow. Ingetekana wewe mkristo ambaye Mahubiri yale ni mahubiri Jumapili. Ni kama inakupatia inakupatia ramani. Inakupatia mwongozo. Inakutia tu moyo. Inakutoa kupe. Inakulainisha. Inakuchonga chonga. Walakin ukiwa peke yako nyumbani kila siku, kila asubuhi, kila jioni wewe unashiriki ushirika na Yesu Kristo kupitia mahubiri. Peke yako unakaa ukisoma mahubiri peke yako unasoma neno unalisoma neno unasoma biblia unashiriki neno watu wanauliza ushika na Yesu kwa namna gani ushika wa Yesu imo katika wewe kusoma mahubiri kusoma maandiko kusoma biblia kando na kusikiza mahubiri ambazo mimi nakuhubiria kando na kunisikiza kwa YouTube kando na wewe kunisikiza kwa Facebook kana na wewe kuhudhuria ibada hapa. Kana na wewe ku download mahubiri ambayo ni mahubiri. Tafadhali chukua Biblia kana hayo chini. Ujisomee maandiko. Ujikulie chakula hiki. Ujilishe chakula. Na hapo ndio Kristo wengi ni wazembe. To the extent kwamba kuna wengi hawana Biblia. If you only depend and rely on the word and rely on the word something about my voice kidogo just a little bit if you only rely on the word that i preach on this altar so biblia yako ni kama is like we own your bible two of us unakuja nayo kanisani unaifungua tu wakati tunasoma mimi na bible you only open your bible hmm? when you come here to listen to me preach then you are not yet grown bado hujakuwa if your bible only find use when i begin preaching if your bible only find usage the moment you are in church 
Of the moment I begin preaching, then bado you haven't grown as yet. Na ndio maana nataka watu tuache unafiki. Mkristo ambaye amekata kukua, yeye ni mzigo sana kwa ngazi. A, 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 a Christian who does not want to grow, who is not growing, is a real burden to a shepherd, to a servant of God. Na especially nyinyi ambao tunaangaliana nyinyi kanisani. If you are the type ambaye you come kuoshwa na kuchonga na kusugua na kupaka mafuta, then you go. Come Sunday perfume imeisha, you come back to kuosha, to kusugua, mm, then to kukamua na mafuta, then to kupaka mafuta, then you go. Then you come back. Wewe ni mtoto. Na naomba kwamba ubadilike kiasi kabisa. Maana hautatumia na kutembea kwa mamlaka iwapo hauna neno. I'm straining my voice on this mic. My setting. If you be a Christian ambaye unategemea tu mchungaji, tegemea tu mahubiri yake, tegemea tu kila mara unakuja, unashiki neno, excited. And then that's all. There are there are exploits you can never have. Wale ambao ni watumishi watenda kazi, wale ambao Mungu atawatumia ama tayari Mungu anakutumia. Biblia yako tafadhali uifanyishe kazi. Maana Yesu huyu yeye ndiyo maandiko. Maandiko haya ni Yesu Kristo. You want to hear from God. Hii akutaka kusikia mahewa mahewa masikioni. Achana. Ilo matamani nisikie sauti kiniongelesha. Mungu akinena yeye unena na roho yako. Roho Bwana akisema yeye usemezana na roho yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those jingle jingle please they distract me. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh hey, the soft one like that is fine. Mimi moyo wangu imetamani kwamba ni wale nyinyi mfanyike watumishi. Nikilea watu hapa ambao uwe muhubiri, uwe mwanjilisi, nisikie ngo ushuhuda kwa cell group unatimika na Bwana. Nisikie kwa mtaani wewe unatimika na Mungu. Nisikie tu ushuhuda kwamba uliomba mtu akapona, uliomba mtu akaokoka, uliomba maeneo fulani, watu kwasaidika, ulitisha waganga maeneo, walizima mioto yao kwa ajili ya wewe. I'll be so proud. How much more Jehovah God? Kama hauna neno, mwimbaji wezi imba, utaimba sarakasi. When we see you mwimbaji, unapoimba hapa, bado unaimba nyimbo za 1907. Bado unaimba nyimbo zingine ambazo ziliimbwa Sunday school kitambo. Maana hizo ndio unazo katika akiba yako. Yaani una akiba ya mambo ya zamani tu. Hauna ongezeko ya mambo ya sasa. Hauna ufunuo wa nyimbo za kisasa. Hauna ufunuo jinsi Yesu anavyotembea sasa. Nikiona naimba nyimbo kama hizo najua wewe bado. Hauna ushirika na Yesu. Kama unashika na Yesu, mimi nina kisima cha nyimbo. Naamini kisima changu cha nyimbo imejaa nyimbo nyingi. Maana hakuna siku naamka sina kuimba kwangu. I wake up no instruments no clapping hands nimbo ni neno studying the bible now in the book of acts chapter 17 i believe it should be verse number 11 bible talks about um, talks about the bereans maniko yaongelea wa berean the bereans kwamba walikuwa watu ambao hmm? walikuwa bora sana kuwashinda wa Thessalonike hao wengine maana baada ya wao kusikiza mahubiri baada ya wao kushirikisha kwa neno jinsi mimi na ovyo washirikisha sasa tukasema kwamba watu hao walikuwa wakiswa wale ambao walikuwa wanabidi 
Walienda na wakafanya kutafiti tena mahubiri. Kutafiti tena neno. Wakachunguza mahubiri. One, wajue wapo chenye mahubiri alihubiri ile. Mm, ilikuwa sawa. Wakaenda zaidi ya mahubiri. Wakatafiti zaidi. Hata baada kundwa kwamba ndio muhubiri aliyehubiri mahubiri yale alikuwa sawa sawa lakini pia walitaka wazame zaidi like a student bye muhubiri ambaye mwalimu ashahubiri syllabus topic flani you go and study then study ahead of him i don't think i was a genius in school genius i was not a genius but one thing one i was a student ambaye nilikuwa nasoma zaidi ya mwalimu I will finish the entire syllabus. Oh, they call it syllabus. I read all the books. In fact, library ya shule I was there. Nilikuwa ni 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 ni, ni vita vya panya na paka. Tuna paka nafukuzwa. Hmm? My dad will really have me sleep. Maana sitting room nilikuwa nakaa na vitabu. Yaani anaona light namulika mpaka kwa kile iko nafanywa njama mbesho umelala so na jina wa trick nimeenda kulala wakisha lala nimesikia umelala na we, naamuka yes mahubiri yale ya mahubiriwa mtu mkristo unazama kuyatafiti vile ni mahubiri leo mafungu yale ambayo ni mayataja sasa unafanya kuwe nenda unayachambua thank you unayachambua mahubiri hayo unayatafiti maana sehemu moja ya mahubiri ukiangalia sawa sawa itakuzalishia mafungo 30 ya Biblia as a scholar of the Bible that's what i know but a lot of christians they are average a lot of christians they struggle for money but then mambo ya Biblia wanawachana i study the bible Mahubiri haya mimi Biblia naitafiti. Sometimes when sehemu moja ya Biblia hainitishi naenda kwa nyingine. That's why I have a lot of Bibles. Kama tafsiri ama jinsi jumbe inawasilishwa na sehemu moja ya Biblia hmm? hainiridhishi nitaenda kwa nyingine. Nitaenda kwa nyingine nitaenda kwa nyingine when i didn't know how to use software bibles i will arrange all the bibles in my bed tango i have a wife who is patient ningia anapata biblia siko kila mahali kila mahali kila mahali biblia that's why not every woman can be a pastor's wife sio kila mwanamke anaweza kuwa mke wa mchungaji cuz we are chungaji we are very hard people we are so stubborn When you see us preach you think that we are supermen. Sisi ni wasumbufu sana. We want things done. Kwanza tukijua kwamba barabara nataka ni yeye ndio hiyo barabara. Na tafiti Biblia kama sijapata na lala kichwa na imejaa, sijapata kile nataka nauliza Mungu iko wapi? Roho Bwana akinizungumzia nitatafuta kwa Biblia. Hallelujah. Ndio mosi ipose nikapata nyimbo. I have songs. I have hymns. I have songs katika Roho Mtakatifu na nyimbo katika Roho Mtakatifu kisima changu. Nimekijaza, nimekijaza. Kama nitaimba nitajua wimbo huu unalingana na sehemu gani ya Biblia? Nyimbo hii, nyimbo hizi zinalingana vipi na maandiko fulani? So muimbaji, kama ushiriki ma uh, au ushiriki neno. You want to be a worshiper. You are a praiser. Yet you don't study the Bible you'll be dry nyimbo zako itajirudia utakuwa narudia nyimbo nyimbo unajirudia rudia mpaka ishe fashion but kama kisima chako imejaa maji maana the more you read the word the more una safisha kisima the more you are washing your well the more you are purging your well by the word because the word of god is like a soap it is also water it regenerates it washes it purges it cleanses So when you don't read the Bible you cannot be effective. 
Ndipo sa Paulo anasema hivi, hmm? anamwambia Timotheo kwamba ninakupa hagizo hili mbele zake Mungu. I charge thee therefore before God. Ninaku nakupa agizo hili ama nakupa amri hii mbele za Bwana. Pia mbele zake Yesu, Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, ambaye atafanya kwa hukumu walio hai na walio wafu. Wakati sote taonekana mbele zake Bwana. So that this is a strong word. Mwambie agizo hili nakupa kwamba you preach the word kwamba hubiri neno wakati kwa majira ikufayo hata wakati haikufae wakati ungependa hata wakati haupendi kama ungetaka ama kama hutaki kama inakubalika ama isikubalike iwe una moods ama hauna moods push the word And that's what I do. Mimi nahubiri neno. Sometimes even if my body does not want, tahubiri neno. Na nitahubiri neno kwa sababu kuna vile nimeipokea. Servants of God who are relevant. Ukiona mhubiri ambaye anahubiri neno ambalo ni fresh. Mahubiri yake ni fresh. Every time I nahubiri what is fresh, his preachings are relevant and they make sense. They touch you. They they prick you. Inakukatakata jua kwamba mtumishi huyo au anashiriki neno bread is bread kuna wale wanaweza kutaka mkate wa jana pia ni mkate go to the shop zamani nilikuwa nakupenda nyama sana ujana wangu na sikutaka nyama ambayo imechinjwa siku hiyo kenda kabucha nipate nyama fresh <laughs> naambia wewe eh, muzaji nyama nataka ile nyama ya jana nilibaki nilipenda nyama yenye melala maana kuna vile imekamuliwa maji mbaki nyama peke yake those are my days but then as you grow today vile kuna ukora mwingi katika mabuchari <laughs> you just want nyama ya leo fresh mikate hivyo hivyo so utapata mikate kuna ya juzi kuna ambao kinoka supermarket unanua hivi lakini kumbe ilikuwa imekaa unamwambia offer 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 kumbe ni bread they want to dispose what you do with it they don't care they do show mna hiyo huo mkate unapata umeza kuwa na muozo molds nao kuna hizo mahubiri ambazo zimo katika hali hiyo mahubiri ambazo zimeemea kimelea zimo na kile mnaita kwa kwa biology zimo na moses zimo na molds zimemea uozo zimo na uweusi uweusi you have bread that is stale it was bread about your last week ama ni bread a few days ago kumbuka a day with god is like a thousand years the thousand years with god just but like a day one day with the lord is like a thousand days as well thousand days with god is just but like a day So kama mkate ule unakula as iwe ni ajana it could be ni 2000 years ago or a thousand years back is what you are preaching So kigeuza ndio wimbo unataka uimbe unaimba vitu ambavyo za hmm? ancient Yet you can read the word of God and receive fresh bread. Fresh visions, fresh revelations, fresh instructions. So kama takubiria, we need to preach to you what is fresh. So kila mubiri ambaye anahubiri, what is fresh? What is in the now? That mubiri is on the same page with God. Same page. What is God saying today? So ndipo sana tukuhubirie kile ambacho nakufaa kile ambacho ni cha utiare kile ambacho ni kwa sasa as much as the bible says as much as the word of god is relevant every day it is fresh every day hallelujah it behooves a servant of god to be a student of the word mbaya nazama kila siku usikie bwana what do you have for me today 
on the menu. What is it? What is in the menu today? So kama atakubiria kila siku tukubirie then lazima kila siku tunazama ndani ya neno every day i must soak myself in the word i must soak myself in the word so that i bring out what is relevant even when the lord speaks to me because the lord speaks to me acha niongelesha anaweza niongelesha kitu ambacho atahubiri sometimes i niambia utahubiri nini sometimes i have to go back to the word and as i pray and i go through the bible just for my personal niambia among us what you are eating this one is for the church this one is yours he ni yako he ni ya kanisa he ni yako jilishe he ni ya kanisa ama hiyo majilisha nayo pia ndaka i overflow and alisha watu wangu na hata waimbaji you know different from me kama wewe ni mwimbaji ambaye biblia hauna urafiki nayo utakuwa naimba watu nasikia tu ah misisimuko tu misisimuko tu baada watu wataimba lakini wanajua hii ni misisimuko ne uimbaji wako haina power haina uhai haina nguvu hmm? hawezi kufu... mahubiri yako i mean ukuimba kwako haina nafasi ya roho wa bwana kutembea kuguza watu kama utaimba nyi mwambazo wa bwana katembea kawaguza watu is because una neno una kisima Wewe ni mjulisi ambaye unaambia una una mtu e, nataka uokoke. Naompa tu kama ema maneno machache tu. Mtu analia. When I was a bachelor na nikaanza safari ya kiroho. I remember I had a nilikuwa kwa nyumba ambayo hiyo nyumba nakumbuka sana. <laughs> I was staying in Kenya in nyumba za Kenya Railways quarters. Kakodeshewa ka nyumba kwanza ilikuwa bathroom. Asa kuna nyingine ambayo haikuwa bathroom nyingine ilikuwa sana quarters tu mzuri. Ningelala freelance, sifungi madirisha, sifungi malango, majambazi unakuja wanaiba jikoni, wanabeba vitu, mimi wananiwacha nimengorota hapo, ni kama wananiona, wanione, wanijali, na lala free. Lakini hiyo kama vitu wa maiba sio zangu, sikuwa vitu za majirani wote because you share jikoni. Then anything that is mine, iwe ni kifagio iwe ni kijiko kisu uma sahani sufuria jiko stove alafu nguo kwa waya hmm? socks suruali shati blangeti haiguzi hata moja na ina lebo kwamba ni ya onyango you read the word until you are so tired go sleep then wako wanakuja baba vitu za watu wengine zako hazionekani hapo ndo unazaitwa mchawi unaitwa eh wewe mtu ni mchawi inakuaje vitu zako ziko na zetu haziko even me i cannot explain all i know is that i heard the word nimelala mpaka nakuwa invisible hakuna jamba na mali wanaibia wananipita maana dirisha yangu iko wazi mlango umo wazi mm na acha tai ikiaka ndio mbu asiniume because mbu anaogopa light so na acha tai naaka mm bulb na lala freelance hiyo nyumba ni nyumba ambamo watu wakuwa wanakuja mtu anaingia kwa nyumba anaingia kwa nyumba kunisalimia nataka utuongeleshe i don't talk much wanaongea tu mambo kidogo mtu anaanza kulia unalia peke yako unaingia maya unaingia room yangu ilikuwa sitting room na ndio bedroom ndio unaingia nakaa hapo tunaanza kusemezana kidogo mbili tatu mtu analia so i wasn't like eh hey, na watu wanalia lia ilinchukua muda kuzoea watu kulia ukishakuja umekaa you just break and cry then i also didn't know how to console watu sikuwa na hali asema wewe pole i didn't know i didn't know how it nilijua tu kushiki na naambia utaokoka <laughs> utamkubali yesu napenda hizo style where people get saved in tears watu wanaokoka kwa kulia hii asikwizi watu wanaokoka master eh Oh Jesus bring back the fire. Ile enye naongea naambia eh. Mjue usipokoka kuzimu. Unahitaji Yesu leo maana kesho haujui. Nakubiria dakika mbili tatu. Mtu analio napiga magoti peke yako. That is the house. But what was it? 
maneno yangu yalikuwa yana moto yana upako yana nguvu i'm not shouting there was no microphone it was in my house so he became a house of ministry nambia dada utawacha utawacha njia hii mbaya kijana utawacha njia hii mbaya siku kutafuta ukuje so you just came. there's no way you could have entered my house then you wonder kusema ndakoka kesho i will not see that one the moment you maingia that was your fate meeting the lord jesus i was full of the word full of the word sasa watu waimbaji watu waombezi kama we ni muombezi ambao utaomba maombi ya kelele maombi ya kelele maombi ya kelele yenye haina msingi wa neno we ni sawa na mtu alejo maria we ni sawa na mtu alejo musambwa kawa sawia na watu wa madini dini zile za nyumbani ngoma nyingi kelele nyingi maombi nyingi maandiko onge kuna mahubiri so much that mbingu za ngoja and you say something jesus unaweza sema mambo ambazo ikatingiza ufalme wa kiroho ulimwengu wa kiroho kile hauna because ausome neno intercessor ambaye ausome maandiko powerless you are a noise maker because jakana intercessor ambaye umesoma neno wakati unaingia kwa uwepo wa bwana unaingia na nyimbo unaanza tu hmm? You just sing one two songs they are scriptural and you just hear two bingo zimefunga juu yako why so because you have the word in you you have the word in you ukianza kuomba hmm? unaomba kulingana na maandiko ya baba katika jina la Yesu i salute you good morning sasa kwa biblia kuna mali yesu amesema good morning Ukisoma katika Ayubu utagundua kwamba mm, Ayubu ana anakemewa ana anaambia mm, you cannot command the morning that means you can command your morning where do you get it from kama unasoma maandiko so paulo akajua mambo haya akamwambia akamwambia mtumishi akamwambia mtumishi Timothy kwamba hubiri neno preach the word be instant in season and out of season that means at any given time whether in season or out of season the word of god will be relevant kaambia reprove rebuke kemea rudi tia watu moyo jenga with all suffering and doctrine pamoja na mafundisho yote kwa uvumilivu pamoja na mafundisho yote na uvumilivu wote vipi hasa hivi mimi na wahubirieni pia na wafundisha na wakemeeni pia hauwezi kuwakemea watu kama hauna neno hauwezi kuwarudi watu kama hauna neno hauwezi kuwatia moyo kama hauna neno from where will you encourage anybody from where so the more you read the word of god it finds habitation in you praise be to jesus hallelujah hallelujah for the time will come so kama wewe ushiriki neno utakosa kile ambacho utawalisha watu utakosa kile ambacho utaomba kwa Bwana even when we go before god we must pray in line with the word naambia bwana kulingana na vile neno lako linavyosema kama mm, mwenye haki wako hautaacha watoto wake waombaombe mikate wala yeye hautamwacha abakie katika hali ya kusononeka where do you get it from from the word So you you have evidence to convince God that God this is what your word says Mungu neno lako lasema hmm? kama mtu mwenye haki hautamtelekeza ukaacha watoto wake waomba ombe mikate na yeye akaenenda katika hali za kudharauliwa hautamwacha 
so lazima umeipata kwa hapa umeipata katika mahubiri umeipata katika neno Bwana Yesu asifiwe hata wachungaji ambao unakula you want to take offering nataka kule sadaka ya madhabahu kama neno utakosa moto tumboni moto wa kuisaga saga ama kuiteketeza ile sadaka Lazo inapata kuna mapasa ambao ukikula ukule vitu vya madhabahu within a short time utakuwa raia Maana moto wa kusaga na kuteketeza sadaka na dhabihu ambazo ni kwa madhabahu moto huo mtu uipata katika maombi na kusoma neno Maana mafuta na maombi inavutia I mean e, e, neno pamoja na maombezi inavutia mafuta inavutia mafuta matendo za matendo za dhabihu inafanya mafuta kuongezeka juu yako ila hali ndio hali ambayo itakusaidia kupokea sadaka hata kama we ni kuhani uliyeitwa lazima ushiriki neno so kuna watu kiwapatia tu vitu vya madhabahu wa kule ile vitu vya madhabahu moto hawana moto wa kuisaga dazo unaweza kula vitu vya madhabahu ugonjeke Unaweza pua sadaka pasa asema ah cha nikusaidia ikimbia nao nyumbani. Kama wewe upande wako wewe haushirikingi neno. Unaweza kosa moto wa kuteketeza hiyo chakula. Yaani chochote kile ambacho hiyo pesa itakusaidia nayo. Lazima uwe na uwezo wa kuiteketeza. Na ni hatari sana kama pia ni mchungaji ambaye pia haombi, hajui kufunga, hazingatii sheria za madhabahu alafu achukue sadaka pia ila amechukua tu na pia hana neno ndani yake alafu pia aichipokee sadaka na kupee pia ya kugawie hmm. utas utas uzito maana yeye hey, hana moto wa kuichoma ile dhabihu ama sadaka kana kwamba wewe pia lazima uwe na moto wa kuichoma choma hasa wewe pia hauna unaweza pata unaweza gonjeka unaweza umia shida za watu wale na kuingia matatizo ya watu wale pia na kupata kama sivyo Unaanza kuwa na hali za ku backslide maana kuna watu wanatoa sadaka hapa ni washirati wanyang'anyi uwezi wakora waongo majambazi watu ambao wajaokoka wako nusu nusu so unapata mchungaji pia anakuwa kama wao maana makula vitu hivyo you need the word for the fire bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe unahitaji neno na wakati neno imekupungua upako na mafuta ya Bwana na poshuka uwezi kuithibiti you cannot contain the anointing and the fire of God if within you you, are, you do not have the word maana neno ndani yako ni kama nanga inakuwa ndiyo nanga inashika ile mafuta ikikuja so watu wote kama jumapili uliona hakuna jumapili hapa kuna moto there is not ande and there is no fire of the holy ghost that's why our services are long you ask other church services you nachukua muda gani 3 hours 4 hours 5 hours walingia sa fact na angalenga services zingine na shina mungu some services are only 30 minutes sisi ni jioni hata ukitaka iishe mapema ni jioni maana roho bwana akaanza kutembea utamwambia roho bwana Uh, please try 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 quickly alafu tuache tuhubiri unaweza ambia roho bwana hivyo aki anza kazi hapa even me i'm rendered jobless you saw one sunday i was rendered jobless i was just standing in some matu i'm allowing the fire and the power the holy ghost roho bwana atembee kwa watu na si mimi wa kwanza hata hata manabii wa kitambo hata watumishi wale hmm? a minister could not serve because the power of god will fill the house so unabaki ukiwaangalia watu unabaki ambia bwana sometimes there is one service ambao the entire church watu wote walienda chini ilibaki peke yangu unaangalia left right watu wote wako on the floor then you're like god hata mimi pia utanichukua so kitambo hiyo aishe ibada that's why our ibada zetu itaishanga late na no one should regret 
Dodo na sio ndo na complain hiyo mkina kanisa hiyo mnachelewanga sana. Sasa wewe ujijulie ya kuambia tunachelewanga sana maana tuna enjoy tunaburudika ndani ya Bwana. Haleluya. Haleluya. So baada baada mafuta kama hayo kuna watu na ukipata yani ukiondoka hapo within three days hawana mafuta within three days hawana power ya Mungu why hawana nedo hawaji kushika mafuta ndani yako lazima kuwe na mfanyiko wa neno inashika ile mafuta so ile yenye umepokea iko ndani yako inangoja kazi tena ukikuja ingine pia inaingia you have a lot that's why kuna watu ambao ukishawapatia when they, they accumulate anointing with the word with the word and nothing with the word ukiwapatia nafasi moja wahubiri watu wanaweza kula moto mwingi sana because wamejazwa hawakuiachilia wapatie chance moja wahubiri wapatie chance moja waombe watu patie chance moja waombe wapatie chance moja waimbe kutafanyika maneno ile chenye umebeba itashikana kile inakuja ya Bwana. Ili kuna watu kuwapatia hata waimbe. Wanaimba umbo moja. Waonge gimodo. Wanaimba umbo moja hakuna kitu imebaki. So najuanga huyu anapokea moto mwingi lakini inavuja, yani ina kama inaondoka. Hauna nanga ya kuishika. You do, you, do, you cannot contain. You cannot withhold because in you there is not a word in fact some people are just like hey what is that what happened to me what is that nilianguka nikaamuka what's that hmm well oi naogopa kuanguka tena huyo hana neno power ya mungu ikikuangusha ukiamuka you be transformed kama ilikuwa ni mungu unless mashetani wakuwa na kutoka but if the anointing of god ikakushukia you be a different man haleluya haleluya significance of the word maongeo ya mtu jinsi unavyoongea kuna watu maongeo yao inararua rarua watu inawakatakata vibaya maongeo yao inanuka vibaya because they don't have the word. Now Paul alijua hii akamwambia Filipo, hapa Paul amemwambia Timotheo, hubiri neno kila wakati. Kama utahubiri neno kila wakati, then sharti kwamba kila wakati unajilisha neno, unajilisha neno. So akamwambia Filipi, in first in Philippians chapter 1 should be verse number 20, the 27 or 28. Kasema kwamba and let your conversation hmm, become as the gospel na mwenendo wako kuenenda kwako unajumuisha maneno na yauzungumza ikafanya kufanana na maandiko tazama wa filipi then he repeat the same thing also in colossians 4 verse number 6 that let the words of your mouth be seasoned with grace so unapata watu ambao wana unabii lakini wanaitoa vibaya maana wajiku wanavunja watu moyo na unabii so colossians 4 verse number 6 verse five says walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time then verse 6 Let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer every man. Basi na kusema kwako, mkia msari wa sana anasema, tembea katika hekima kwa watu wote, enenda katika hekima kwa watu wote hata wale walioko kule nje watu wa mataifa redeeming time ukiokoa muda let your speech be always with grace usemi wako maongeo yako yawe kwamba yametiwa munyu bwana siwe 
yawe na neema kana kwamba yametiwa munyu ili ukajua jinsi ya kuwajibu watu ama kila mtu ujue jinsi ya kuwaongelesha ujue namna ya kusema let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer every man hiyo uweze kama wewe hauna neno plus watu ambao usamehengi kwa haraka ni neno hauna what about you don't let go watu ambao kuna wao kanisani uko nao area 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 kama una ugumu kuwasamehea then hauna neno ndani yako you don't have the word you are not recognize the significance of the word that it can affect you it can saturate you it can transform you so that you be quick you be quick in letting go you be quick in letting go you be very quick in letting go watu ambao unapata moja ni kuna watu nikijua kwamba hauna kisima sana i don't entertain a lot of time with you maana kuna watu kiongea na wao unasi wanakukamua the wrong way just say okay god bless you wala mbona nakutembea na mafuta not everybody will be your friends even me an apostle of the most high god not everybody is my friend najua kuna watu ambao nakusalimia na kuacha nakusalimia na kuacha cause na linda kile ni nacho i protect what i have cause kuna watu ambao hawana haja na kile kitu unayoona haja kuiharibu so kika na watu naongea na yeye anakuchafua unaondoka uweponi mwake umekuwazika ume lose connection kiroho hauna rada unashindwa na huyu where was i going what was i thinking the flow the heavenly trafficking hmm? fikira za kiungo ambazo zikuwa zina flow ndani yako zina kwa disconnected because kuna watu kiongea na wao <laughs> they are spoilers ni watu waharibifu wamekauka so na kujibu maneno ambazo si sawa na kuongea mambo ambazo sio sawa maongeo yao maongeo ambazo hazijengi maongeo ambazo asifundishi maongeo ambazo haina hekima maongeo ambazo haikutii moyo maongeo ambazo hazina sifa maongeo ambazo hazina ushuhuda ukimazana na wao utasikia umekauka utasikia hauko sawa utasikia hauko mm, jinsi ulivyokuwa jiwe umekamuliwa sasa kama ni wewe utaathiri mtu mwingine na kuongea kwako utamwathiri vipi kama ni wewe iwapo wewe umebeba maandiko ndani yako ukiaongea na watu mtu anasikia tu anataka kukuacha unataka tu kuanasikia vizuri someone just feels nice mm? i love your fellowship mm? i love your company neno lilo melinena nasikia imenifariji maneno yako nasikia yamenitia nguvu maneno yako yasikia yanasikia maongeo yako yamenipatia nuru na mwanga now i know there's something i can do i feel uplifted i feel encouraged i feel revived i feel renewed nasikia fresh kuna watu kama hao hao ni watu ambao wana neno na nia wana neema wana neno pia wana neema maana neno ikiwa ndani yako inavutia neema when the word is in you you attract grace then you impart others with your grace that's why nashangana wanawake ambao unataka uimbe na alafu unakaa plot mzima wewe ni moshene unajiharibu yani kile ambacho unacho uta empty kwa watu wale alafu kile ambacho wanayo utachukua ijaye ndani yako kushaimba baadaye i mean wanaimba hapa utajua kwamba hata jaridisha watu you umekamuliwa how's a young man ambaye sikupenda company fua fua na watu mpaka nilikuwa lazimisho na wazazi wangu si uende utembee huko nje my father was very tricky anaambia aenda unue gazeti anajua nikienda unue gazeti nitakutana na watu kwa kwa watu mtaani 
Wana jaribu kunitoa. Because I only knew I loved reading. I loved studying. I, I wanted to know between Jesus and these other two gods. Who is God? I started a journey of seeking God in my youth. I had read books like The Greatest Controversies. Hmm. Karl Marx na Kadalika. Then I discovered those are cults. Because when Jesus said that I will use you, nitaka kujua ulisema utanitumia, unapatika nanga wapi? Because nilichoka na ikanisani, I will see things are just like kanisa kawaida. Then I said a journey of seeking the real God. I wanted to know God. You must drop companies. Lazimu wachana marafiki, watu fulani. Watakwaribia. Maniku ya sema, linda kile ulicho nacho. Wengine wetu linda kisimo ulicho nacho. Linda mafuto lionayo. Linda neno lio ndani yako. Linda neno ndani yako isitiwe chachu. Jia pushe na mafundisho za watu baya. Mafundisho ambazo ni kinyume na utakatifu. Linda. Kama munga mekupewa kipawa cha uimbazi. <laughs> Linda. Kama umepewa karama ama kipawa cha uombezi. Linda. Mana zika inge wani zinakanga tumboni. They stay in us. Hapa. Whether the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost dwells, he dwells in our stomach. Hapa. Rawa baya naishi tumboni mwetu. Diposa nyimbo zote zimondani. Visima vilivyomo ndani yetu. Visima hivi. Vina korogwa na neno. So. Nanga ambaye na baba vipawa ndani yako ni neno. Read five chapters of the Bible. In the morning. Wakati ni kuwa na lea vipawa ndani yako. Kwa nasikia vipawa zina lilewa. I was doing 30 chapters of the Bible. I was doing like five books of the Bible. Morning. Siku mzima ni mesoma na. Um, I have some things to do. Vitabu nogono kama kina obadaya. Those are you read, unarudia, you read, unarudia, you read, unarudia. Imezama kichwani. Tabu kama Psalms, the book of Psalms, 119. Unaisoma yote. It has 170 words, 78 verses. Or 75 verses. That's una, some young people ambao, the entire Psalms 119, ujasoma. All you know is Psalms 119 verse 1, Psalm 119 verse number 11, about the defilement of a young man. I'll read the entire Psalms. Unasoma Psalms, 10 Psalms in the morning. There are days consistently nigefanya 30 chapters of the Bible. Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Lazima. Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Lazima. Plus now adding the rest. Pick one prophet. Take the book of John from chapter 1 to chapter number 20. Malizana Nayo. I will find myself writing. I almost thought I'm rewriting the entire chapter of the Bible. You write some stuff. Kisi Mayako Majaza Nini. Oh no. Nikagundua kama tereme na mungu nikawacha gazeti. I left newspapers. Because I wanted the space for the Bible. Kuna watu ya memory imeja. <laughs> Ni kama simu. Muda kuweka maubiri na kwabia memory full. Muda kujua memory full. Chaona kanisani. Pasta maubiri. Anangalia simu yake sana. Anangalia saa sana. Amechoka na kalale kidogo. Memory is full. Chanyo na ubiri pasta ingi. Iko full na nindani. Memory yake kiroho. Nimejaa pornography, nimejaa YouTube, nimejaa betting, nimejaa soccer, soccer, eh? football, nimejaa imeja games, nimejaa Facebook chats, chatting online. Mgini nimejaa magazeti, newspaper, imekujaa hapa. So you don't have enough space. For God's word. Wagini imeja wa Moshe ne. Masa ingenyo umbea. Nemekuja. So neno haipate na fasi. Mimi liwacha kusoma gazeti. I quit. Tango nwacha kusoma gazeti. I mean, I'm still informed. I'm still okay. I'm more knowledgeable than I was before. 
So I discovered I was wasting money, time, and I had to be a fellowship with my wife. Now I was told because they want you to talk. Ah, I'm reading the newspaper. Mutako is some of for value for your money. You want to get value for the money. You buy three newspapers. Value for your money. You share Maliza. Now you always Maliza in newspaper. Start to ask for So if I come next weekend, on a gazet here, last weekend, with Maliza. So when you move to a fellowship, now what? I decided to quit them and read the Bible. You cannot, you cannot help anybody with the newspaper. But you can help everybody with the word of God. Newspaper ni aisaidi ya watina kwamba vile Raila walikosana na Uhuru, Uhuru vile walikosana na Ruto, Ruto vile walikosana na Raila, eh, vile kuliende na Jubilee na ODM, Jubilee vile na... Yani, bad news every day. But this is good news. Kukusa mbao so meneno. You are a joker. In fact, umakubaliana na ignorance. Kiona utambawa naongea vibaya kanisani. Nuzwa swali mzuri na mtu. Danu najibu vibaya. Ni neno hauna. Pasa maubiri hapa vizuri. Usikize neno. Then unai, unaichukulia vibaya. Ni neno hauna. The word of God is not meant to be misunderstood. God's word is not meant to be misunderstood, although the word of God is a mystery, but it was never meant to be misunderstood. So come on, on the cup, I love Nasema. Yan in any may be doing a cool means and a cool Yan in Kama connect to our Lewy. You have a problem. Madika Dakana, you could came in. That means it rebukes you. There reproves you. Ikujaribu. Ujaribiwe na neno. Reproves you. Ikusahiishe. Then the word of God should also do what? Should instruct you. Upate kushauriwa kwa neno. Then neno labuan lika kufundisha. Ika kujenga. Ika kuweka katika hali ya toba, change your mind. Colossians 3 and verse number 10 talks about renewal of the mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Philippians 1, before reach Philippians 1, Colossians 3.10 talks about renewal of your mind. Akili zako zafanya upia na neno. Be renewed. The word of God has an element of regeneration. Hmm? Renewing your mind. Is it there? And I put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. How much more will you know Jesus? How much more will you know God? Kamata kusoma and like you will not know about Jesus. Hallelujah. Philippians 1, verse number 27. Hmm? Paul again tells hmm? Paul Latina Nazungumuza Katika wa Philippi. Anambia, and let your speech be as becometh the gospel. Let con your conversation be as becometh the gospel. Kwamba na kuwene na kwako iwe ni kawa kama biblia. Iwe ni sawa na nini na habari njema. So part B of that. So only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. That whether I come unto you. So that's part A. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. Kwamba, na mwenendo wako ama wenu, iwe kana kwamba ni injili ya kristo. Sasa ukitembea, you are a gospel. Ukitembea, 
wewe ni gospel. Yaani ukitembea wewe ni Yesu. Ukiongea wewe ni Yesu. Ukivaa wewe ni Yesu. The word neno. Wata muona tika ushuhuda zao zinaenda kombo kombo, testimony yake inaenda kombo kombo. Ni neno hawana. Mtu ambaye na ushuhuda wa Yesu atainena mimi nimeokoka Yesu Kristo ni Bwana tena mwokozi wa maisha yangu mimi ningali katika imani na mpenda Yesu nimeshika imani kwa neema yake nimesimama na ningali naendelea hadi atakaporudi na aba baiki but some people they don't want even to mention that they are saved they are ashamed hata juu kusema nimeokoka mwambie bwana Yesu asifiwe Eh, mzuri sana. Eh, bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Eh, jambo jambo. Huza ile mzuri ashim then on church na waona. I pray that wewe pata neno. Ukipata neno, unakuwa kwa soba. Watole ambao ni wakristo ambao hawako soba. Yaani umeambiwa kitu kuhusu mtu mara moja umekasirika ni neno Kuna mama ambao kujasikia nyamaza tunayo hatu nasahau na iwisha we Mama ambazo amesikia kukuhusu ah you have so much of God's word that you don't give so much attention to what someone says sabu kichokora chokora itakuharibu so you just wish it away forget about it if you are to address every matter that's spoken about you hautaishi dunia hii miaka mingi you'll die quickly hata kwa ndoa pia is not everything kwa ndoa mbaye imesema unataka kuja DC my dear ulisemaje <laughs> ukishi husband ambaye kila siku unataka kuja DC what your wife said <laughs> uta divorce Mwanadada ambayo kila mara unataka kujua mwanaume, ulisema nini? Yaani una kila kitu ya mwanaume amesema. Wewe utafunga virago wewe nyumbani. Maana una mwingine wajuu kuongea. Utakwambia kama unaenda, si ukwende. Then baadaye mwanaume anasema, "Ah, nimesema nini hiyo?" What did I say? Na wanaume wengi wajuu kusema sorry. Sorry is not in their vocabulary, especially if there are some particular tribes. They don't have the vocabulary pole. Sorry. Hawa sorry yao nienda nunue nyama kuja nayo ama fanya shopping ama nunue maua kama ni wazungu hawa angalau sorry yao iko na maua Mwafrika hakuna sorry atakuja na mkate boflo na maziwa <laughs> atakuja kusema pole atakuja kuambia pole my dear ni neno hana neno ndio hana Mwingine atakuja na samaki, unajua siku amekuja kusema pole. Mwingine ameamua ni abebe kuku ichinjwe. Hii ni pole anasema. Mwingine pole yao ni kunulia kukunulia necklace. Hmm? ama ama lotion ama cream mwanadada. Hiyo hiyo mwanaume hiyo husband is saying sorry my dear. Juvo kabla riao aina neno pole. Wanaume kama wanahitaji nini? Wanahitaji neno. Plus in sisters. Je, this is way men are created. Wanaume waliumbwa. Wafuatenge maneno sana. Kufuata maneno sana sana sana. Wanaume afuatange. Maybe there could be some exceptions. Kini wanawake vile mliumbwa. <laughs> ataniambia tena kiwezekana utasanya wanjiro kuja eh, na kerubo pia kuja kerubo lisema wewe alikuwa amesema kunihusu hivi na hivi haya sasa hebu sema vile ulisema nikisikia hebu sema vile uliambia huyu huyu ni mwanamke atafanya hivyo atakwambia you know what hiyo hapo lazima watu watapigana 
Asa mnyana sema mimi napenda tu ukweli. Mambo yangu ni wazi wazi. You are the sister in the Lord. Ni nenda wauna kugonganisha watu. Nataka useme vile ulisema kunihusu. I mean, vile ulisema huyu akasikia kuni. Nataka useme sasa. Aya sema vile alisema. Mama nataka nisikie. Na kwamba mwaluzo marafiki utawa lose both. Neno ndio hauna. So unapata wanawake wata make sure even if they repent on something, they still want to go to the bottom of it. Zingine hakuna haja unless it's very important. Zingine. So maisha yako kama utakuwa unasoma neno, utaenena kulingana na vile Paulo anamwambia anasema kwa Wafilipi enenda kulingana na maandiko maisha yako kwa biashara civilian nyumbani kanisani yani ulingane na neno mavazi zako neno because the word is the lord himself having having his existence his life is being in you Waefeso tunaonywa tukimaliza mambo na neno. Waefeso sura nene. Verses number Ephesians 4. Let's look at verse number 30. Ephesians 4. You are the Verse number 29. Let not no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Let no corrupt communication, verse number 29, Ephesians 4. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Kwamba na maongeo machafu yasiondoke kinywani mwenyu. Badala yake hmm, kile ambacho hmm, ni njema na ambacho pia inajenga. Bae kafanyisha ku kuwasilisha hmm, Neema ha kwa wote walio wasikizaji. Maongeo yako inawasilisha neema inafanyisha mfanyiko wa neema kwa nao kusikia. Haleluya. Na wanasia soma Kristo katika maongeo kama hayo. Mwanasiasa akiingia mahali ana anaongea mdomo wake ni kama anaachilia tu mafuta, anaongea vitu tamu tamu mzuri mzuri. Lakini kuna watu wa kanisa wape wape madhabahu wape tu waongee waangalie kina mama ai ushuhuda tu wataharibu kila kitu what do they lack the word hawana neno waambie sasa tu na mkutano nataka nikuite waongelesha watu watie moyo kidogo ai atararua kurarua taharibu tunaonya kwamba na maongeo machafu yasitoke kinywani mwenyu Let no corrupt communication. Mambo ya uongo, mambo mabaya. So, unapata kama huna neno, hautajua what is corrupt and what is not corrupt. You have no gauge. But if you have the word in you, you'll be able to gauge. Mambo ya mabaya, futa. Mambo ya mabaya, futa. Like in our, in our platform. Una kuna watu ambao they really, they are just out there to break the heart servant of God. Wana, please, platform ya mtu mwenyewe unaingia kuharibu kwa sababu gani ya watu ambao ni neno hawana so our youtube and facebook platforms you can get some elements sometimes there's a there's a message ambayo iliona na watu karibu 200,000 viewers wakasikiza hiyo ujumbe kwambia i just took some time to niangalie kwa what people are saying <laughs> the staff kuna watu ambao ndika stupid Mimi nakaandika hapo shame on you Mimi nakaandika hapo nonsense 
mau biri jadi mau biri kan dia kan nonsense taka taka awak no you know mesti kau apa ni kamu well unless you are devil agent devil worshipper bawa nasi dan mau biri sejak awak cakup biri kau YouTube I'm still there kalau tambah orang nabi na orang the wrong way please prepare I have abundance of prophecies to release for the nation. Asa kuna mashetano metumwa hewani wanajaribu kuangaisha hewa hii. Pepo mutachoka tutawakata mbawa. Plus your self, plus your your agents. Then the word will be released. So napata watu ni neema wana. Kama mhubiri amehubiri mahubiri yake ya kufurahisha. Rudi kwa chambers enda uombe huko. So why must you like appear to settle score? Mimi sikujui. Then you're like them, mm. muongo, liar, deceiver, false prophet. Hizo zote ziko pale. Napata watu ambao neno na wakata the wrong way. What do they don't they have? I told someone to tell Nabi kuhusu nja. Kwa mi kutakwana ukame. Na saisi munaona ukame. Mine is to report. <laughs> Nimetumwa. Mimi nilitumwa na nikasema. Sasa saa hii Kenya Kenya kuna ukame ama kuna ukame. Yaani kuna mtu pale ambaye anaamini kama ni Mkristo. Kaandika ishindwe katika jina la ishindwe in Jesus name. Atutaona njaa tutaona ukame. Ako wapi? Mali yako lazima ndio kuna ukame na njaa sana. You hear prophetic word. Do I have an issue with the prophet? It shows your word level is shallow. Hauna neno huku fundishwa. Na pia kisha ongea. Kimbia kisha cha kotia maji. Manu niza nyolewa any given time. Enda ulie kwa mungu. Ndia geuze. Ama jaribu fanyo urafiki sana huyo prophet. Alafu munize na haa. <laughs> Hii njai kikuja. Kuna njia ingine ya ku escape. Mi neza escape na nagani. But there are people want to settle their, their strength with their prophet. A prophet is a battle axe, number one. A prophet is a panga, is a sword in God's hand. He is a hammer in the hand of God. He is a machine gun, he is, an, he is a, a bomb. He is a grenade. Munga na mtumia na zalipua chochote. Alafu nasema, eh, unakua na ishu na eh. You are cutting your life into pieces. Lakini sisi pokeni neno katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bow your head as we pray. Our Father, this is your word. I've had the honor and privilege of sharing it with your people. I give you all the glory and all the praise. May you, Lord, be pleased, Lord, to have the performance of your word. Transform us and change us and make us a better people. May your word cause us repentance, Lord. Your word is positioned as Lord to change. Neno lako likatufa, likatusaidia buwani. Katika hali ya kuzingatia toba. Naomba kama Bwana ukatukuza milele maana wewe ni wajabu. Naomba Mungu Baba kwamba utusaidie tukazingatia kulisoma neno, kufuata mahubiri, kafanyesha Bwana jinsi ulivyomwambia eh, Timotheo kwamba kalihubiri neno kwa misimu yote nyakati zote pasipo hali ya kuzingatia kama ni bora ama si bora. Baba we pray may you grant us grace to be student of your word, to be seekers and searchers of the scriptures Lord like the Bereans. We bless you. We thank you. Naomba kwa mabwana utubariki na pondo waka mali hapa iwe heri nasi. Na ukabariki wote ambao mefuata mafunisho haya pia kwa mtendao. Katika Yesu Christo tuwa omba. Amen. I want to say kwa mba the reason why church the church of Kenya shall not have a voice over BBI. It's because the voice of the church is muzzled. The church of Kenya has been going through judgment. We have supported the hand of the wicked in Kenya. And as a result, God has judged Kenya. And also God has judged the church.